My name is David Mahan. I teach religion and literature here at the ISM. Most of my work focuses on modern to late modern and contemporary literature. One of the prevailing approaches that I have to my own work as well as my classes is what does it mean to read literature theologically? I teach a variety of different classes that engage the kinds of questions I ask in my own research, particularly the relationship between literature and the religious imagination. One of these classes is called Reading Poetry Theologically, where we dig into close reading of poetic texts and consider what is the relationship between form and not only literary meaning, but theological meaning. Another class that I teach is called Imagining the Apocalypse, which a number of non-literature concentrations find particularly engaging. And not only are we reading very provocative literature, but we are provoked by this question, why are we as a society so preoccupied with catastrophic ends to humanity? In all of the classes that I teach, uh, I consider them skills classes also. This method of close reading and the interdisciplinary approach of bringing theology into conversation with literature means that I have to help students learn how to do that well. And doing it with them together creates a conversation around the work that is incredibly rich and fruitful, uh, both for their own education, but also in relating what we're studying to their own lives. The Scottish novelist George MacDonald once said that the human imagination is made in the image of the imagination of God. And one of the things I love most about the ISM is that it's a community where the imagination is valued, where we consider it important not only to study works of the imagination, but to perform them and to think about how the imagination relates to the sacred, to religious faith, spirituality, and, and spiritual practices. I think that one of the main contributions that the literary imagination makes to this wider conversation at the ISM is its attention to language. I mentioned earlier that my classes are skills classes, and one of the skills that I want to cultivate in students is attentiveness to what we say and how we say it. I think that's an incredibly important virtue in our society today, and certainly is an important virtue within academia. The Cambridge theologian Nicholas Lash once said that we need to engage the long discipline in learning how to speak. One of the distinctive contributions that the study of literature makes to our broader conversation at the ISM is that it asks us to pay attention to speech, to language. So even if a student of mine never reads another poem after my class, he or she has already had to pay attention to language in a way that is peculiarly nurtured by the study of poems and by the study of novels, by authors who really care about what they say. Many of the students who take my classes are specialists in religion and literature, concentrating uh, in that field. But I also have a lot of students who have read very little poetry or very little fiction who are going on into ordained ministry or other fields of theological inquiry. For all of them, one of the things that thrills me the most is that they leave loving literature perhaps more than they did when they started the class. And they think that the imagination is important. So whether a student is going on to do doctoral work and become a professor, which of course always thrills me, or they just walk away as people who think the literary imagination is something that we as a people need to attend to. I'm very gratified uh, with those kinds of results in their lives.